record. So that beginning is this four times. And then it'll end up with then this lick. F E D minor the lick G C E a minor. Stay on it. Lick. G. M. F. Two open three C. Hello everybody, Carlo here. We're going to go over uh, If I Had the World to Give from Shakedown Street. And starts right off with this lick. And it'll do that four times. And there's two ways to play it. I like... Just coming right off a regular C chord. That way you can have that. That E string ring out above it. So however you want to finger it, it's a C chord. Go open E high E to third B to first B back to third B. And this is a phaser, by the way. So whether you choose to do a C shape and use your pinky at the top, which is how I like to do it, 
so you get that big rich and then slide that over so then it would be pinky fourth fret B string third finger third fret B string first finger first fret B string first fret G string first finger to open G and then when you hit that open G you can hit a C chord or not so if you're on a C that's using the pinky or you can just use your third finger and then you don't have to move your hand or and I think that's how Jerry does it. Now the alternate way is to come up here to the, the B string 5th fret, 3rd finger, to B string 3rd fret, 1st finger, to G string 5th fret, 3rd finger, back to B 3rd fret, 1st finger, and then 2nd finger on B 4th fret, to 1st finger B 3rd fret, to G 3rd finger, 5th fret, and then pinky on D string 6th fret to 3rd finger D string 5th fret. To be a C chord, so. And what you're essentially doing here, and what he does at the end on the solo, is going from a C to a C minor. Even though the chord's actually an A flat major 7, you can approach it like a C to a C minor. With a sharp fifth. What's great about that is you can move it up 12 frets to 17. And do maybe a, a C lick and then a C minor lick. Now here's what we'll call the F lick which is so after he does this four times then he'll do this lick to end it which is essentially F, C and those notes are D string 3, 2, open back to three and two, all in the D. Okay, so we call that the F like. So it'll be like, 
So that chord is actually an A flat, uh, A flat major seven, which you can play with your pinky on the D string sixth fret, third finger on the G string fifth fret, second finger on the B string fourth fret, and the first finger on the uh, G uh, E string. Uh, third fret. So each finger has its own fret and its own strength. So what it's actually doing there is So that's actually a you can hear he jazzes it up a little bit. Okay, so that is with it ending up on an F chord or a or a hammer. So the notes there, and he, this is what he improvises off of as well, we're on that C. Then we're doing the A string, third fret, D string open, then hit D string again, and hammer to second, with the second finger, then open G, then and then B string, first finger hammer into third finger on the first to third fret. Back to first finger B, first fret. Then open G, hammer into second G. Again, this is the set part that he improvises from. So right there, instead of just going, he's going. It's the third fret, A to uh, D open, then back to third fret, A, and then the open D to second D. So it's third A, open D, third A, open D, hammer to second D, to open G. Followed up by the the first to third hammer on the B to the first. So if you listen to it, he does it different every time. So, but the basic thing he's improvising off of is. And that's actually an F chord, which you can play as a third finger, second finger, first finger on the D, G, B, third, second, first. Just like an F major 7. So I like to hit the F, the uh, third finger D, and the first finger B and leave the uh, G open and then hammer to the G second to complete the F chord. 
But you really don't have to do that at all. Works just fine. And then it's just going to go a little walk down to uh, D minor. And then really you could just go. So that would just be like that same F shape, 3, 2, 1 on the D, G, B. And then I like to, which is the second finger a D string, it's actually probably an A minor 7, except there's no A to it. I call it an F over E, with an E bass. So all we're doing, and in this case I'm just playing G open. So anyway, I'm going uh, second finger D string, second fret, open G, and first finger B on the first fret right where it was. Then to the D minor. Again, you can just finger pick this or strum. So the D minor is just obviously open D, second fret G, third fret B, first fret E. I like to play it with the, the first, second, and fourth fingers, and not the third finger. So. Now he does it. So he turns it into a... One time he even does... So, but what's going on underneath it is that walk down. Okay, so, but, and he'll, he'll go, and then hammer. So I think it's, it's actually what he's doing, he's just turning it into a lick. Or but what's cool then however you decide to get to the D minor, he does this like and then goes to a G chord, which is the G second fret to the B open to B first. I give it to give it to G. So he's doing the. So. And again, he might even hit an open G there. So. So you did a G after G, G, C. To E, to A minor, and then he'll do a, which is a open, uh, open E, third B, first B, to a regular G chord. So you're coming off an A minor, 
So he'll, I want his own G. He'll hammer on that B string first uh, fret. And then change to an F. That F we've been doing 3, 2, 1 on the D, G, B. So just to catch up on what we just have gone through. G, G, C, E, A minor. Now hold on, A minor. G. Hammer there to F. We're coming off A minor. G, hammer, F. Two open F C two open third D two open on the G third on the D to the C chord. To that lick. And sometimes I'll do that. Come down and hit the G string third fret. So that beginning is this four times. And then it'll end up with. Then the slick. F. E. D minor. The lick. G. C. E. A minor. Stay on it. Lick. G. Hammer. F. Two open three C. The second verse, instead of going off, it'll hang on it. And then. So it just does the, uh, instead of going straight F to C, it goes back to G, to F, and then to C, and then to a C7, and then we're into that. Okay, so you'll see what I mean. So here's the second verse. Now normally it would go, but here it's going to hang on that. And so it'll do another little open E, third, B, first, B, and then to a G chord again, to another hammer, to the F, and then to the F. And really, what's nice about all of this is you can keep your, your pinky down on that E string like the whole time. I like to do a little on a G to an open B, first B, third B, to C. Little C, seven back. So he'll either go, or he'll go to the open E above it. So we're doing a C, and we're going to a C7, but he does it like this. Okay. 
So, and that, so he's got a C, and then he hits a D, he's already on second fret D, he goes, second, so he's second fret D to open G, to, op, to second G. That's all with second finger, second on the D, open G, second G. And really, you don't have to lift your first finger up at all, you're on a C. So then he lays his second finger back on the D string, second fret. There it was. And he adds the third finger on the G string, third fret. That leaves the pinky right here to hammer on that B string, first to third. Or to hammer and hit an open E up above it. So he either do it or so cool. Then we get to the which is an F major 7. Which you can play down here. So it's, you can use a F major 7 down here, B flat major 7 But I like to use these. So that's the first finger on the D string, third fret. It's an F note. And then finger, pinky flat on the G, B, and E, fifth fret. F major seven. And then do that B, oh, we did an A flat major seven earlier. Now we're gonna do a B flat major seven. Which is just pinky third, second, first on the D, G, B, E on the eighth, seventh, sixth, fifth. Again, just like an F down here, played with the last three fingers, moved up, and then I'm sure Jerry loops his uh, thumb over the top. Plays that B flat bass note on the E string uh, six fret, which I'm no good at doing. So, so we got the F major seven, so that B flat major seven, and I like to think of it as putting my first finger down here where this pinky is, and then I replace it again. Then it'll move that same shape down. Like we were doing before. So we're here. So we do the F to the B flat. And then it just lowers that B flat, just one whole fret, exact same shape. 
So we go. <laughs> Back to C. Or just hold. So it'll do that twice. And then he'll do the lick. And then the. So he's just doing a lick in C, and then going to G for the bridge. But that lick that he's doing on the lick, on the record is just uh, E third fret, open second third on the A, and then pauses and goes open two on the D to open G, and then open two open on the G. And that, then he'll hit the G chord. So that is a G. Hammering up to a C. Shouldn't say hammer, but bouncing to an. So we got a G. Again, you can just leave your first finger flat and go. Just lay your uh, first finger down on the first fret B, second finger on the second fret. Uh, D. So it's kind of a half G, half C. And then, which is a, a, a like a F sus, which is like a B flat. So you got your third finger on the G, third fret, first finger on B, first fret, and pinky on third fret. E. So we're coming off the G. Then going to the F, which is the 3, 2, 1 on the D, G, B, 3rd, 2nd, 1st fret. Again, you can just leave your pinky flat. And then he'll do that same little two open on the G, third D. So then after three times that, it goes down to the C, to the F, then to the solo. I'm
So you hit the G. So you hit G. So you G on the third fret E string and then hit it again and go first third on the A string. I use first and fourth fingers. One, two, three, and go down. Then back to the first finger A, which is a B flat. So we got a G, B flat C to B flat. G, G B flat C, B flat. One, two, three. And then do that same lick. Which is third, first, third. So we got two, three, and then open A to third, first on the E, triplet. So we got G, and again, you can hit that pickup on the first fret, E. So we got G, 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 B, B flat, F, triple lit. So we got G, 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 B flat, C, B flat, G, B flat, C, F, F, open, four, first. Okay, so we got, we're sliding, third finger, third fret D, two, fifth fret D, again with an octave pedal on it, and then going fifth D, third fifth on the G, back to third G, which is the B flat, and then do that lick again. This time go second fret G. So we got two, three, and then uh, second open uh, on the G to the third on the D, the same like we've done before. So we got G. Okay, so then on the record they're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and so. Three, four, one, two. So we'll do that four times.
So he overdubbed some high, some uh, leads in there. Where he's doing like trills, like a mandolin. So like you can do scales like that, right? So it's really cool to hear him.
that'd be his cue to to end it. He'd just come back in with this. Like. So the only difference is it's a C minor scale with a sharp fifth. So that means if you're in C and you've gone to to the fifth note, you can just bend it. Break it into six licks. Lick one. second finger on uh, A string 14 to A string 15 with the third finger and then 12, 14 on the D again 12, 14 on the G and then 12, 13, 15 on the B first, second, and fourth finger and then so we got 13, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 15. And then move your left hand over a fret and use your third, your first and third fingers on 13 and 15 B and first finger on a 13 E. That's all like what? And like two is pull that up here. It's a really cool uh, double band. He just picks this once. He's on the 15th fret, E string, third finger. Let hit it, bend it, and release it. And while it's still ringing, bend it up again and release it. And the second time you release it, pull off the 13th fret, first finger, E string as a triplet. Then lay your third finger on the B string 15. 
So. 15th E. This is a full band, no release. Okay, so that is just screaming right there. Alright, so that's like two. shaping an F sharp minor, or an F minor, and then he's coming out of it, so he's going, so I'll come out of that going, another double bend with a except this time it doesn't pull off it just goes and then just picks the 13th fret B so we got third third finger 15th fret B up and down up and down 
One pick. And then 13. Remember the other one was. But this one's just slower. Because it's eighth notes instead of a triplet. And then it'll follow up with 12, 13, 15 on the B, hammer. From 12, hammer the second finger. 13th and hammer to the third finger 15th or first, second, and fourth finger, however you want to do it. So we got does the so the next part is 13 B second finger so then go 12 13 on uh, the B so we got 13 B then 12 13 B then to 14 G while that's ringing out, put your second finger on uh, E string 13. Finish that off while it's still. You hit to 12. I'm sorry, you're on 13 holding it. As it's dying out, you hit it one more time and pull it off to 12 and hit 12 again. So that hole is. So, the whole thing so far is... gets us to the last lick. Which I think, think is an overdub. So again, he's tracing a C chord, but he's going uh, 13th fret B string, first finger, and laying the first finger on the G string, 12th. And, and letting it slide down to 10. So we're coming off. Pretty uncomfortable. Not something you would usually do. And then you come down here to uh, tracing the C chord. And do five six five on the B string, first second first finger on the fifth sixth and fifth. So you're going. And then take your third finger on the fifth fret G and slide it up to seven. And then lay your first finger down on the fifth fret G. And then it's like he turns up the volume and the distortion as he's holding it and lets it slide down. 